xyp.com use code cute at checkout it's easy fast legit link down below with me buying coins off this website go save your time go save your money right now 500k is below 14 dollars when you use code cute all right guys welcome back let's get to it top 10 quarterbacks i'm gonna clear up the picture for you and let you know who is what and who should you buy so subscribe if you're new i do at least three videos every single day up next we have the top 10 running backs i already did Devonte smith gameplay go see how good he is now let's get started you know who's not top 10 is cam newton well, not a bad release a horrible release all right this release can get you sacked do not use this card uh i get it he's cam newton he's athletic i know he's fun he has a superman pose i get it bad card waste of coins he doesn't even get the big four abilities how rock master set beat lead gunslinger and fearless he does not get all four of those so bad ability stack bad release equals do not buy this card lawrence not top 10 bad release and doesn't have a good ability stack compared to other quarterbacks now there's quarterbacks that actually have more abilities so i can't recommend them um if i get them i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna quick sell so whatever he quick sells for uh, 87,000, I'll take 87,000. I would not get this quarterback if I was you. Um, he's not going to be worth it. But let's see who is worth it at number 10. You guys have been wanting me to talk about this card and see what is he, right? A lot of people want to see people use him. Is he good enough? Yes, to use. Yes, he's good enough, guys. He's shifty. He's fast. He's athletic, which is nice. Slinger 3, great deep ball release. Now, for 180K, he's a great budget quarterback. Now, should he be on your team? That's the question, right? Uh, if you don't use Howard Master, yeah. Uh, Howard Master is two AP on him, which is unusable. So is he missing the abilities? Yes. Uh, so he's not going to be the best quarterback because other quarterbacks have more abilities that you can put on him. So you will be at a disadvantage with this quarterback. But yes, you can use him. Yes, he's good. Who's number nine? Number nine is Lamar Jackson, guys. He has the same problem as Shazier. He gets all 32 teams, so keep that in mind. Slinger three is nice. He does not get the big four abilities I just talked about, so that's not good, right? So bad discounts, bad abilities, so he can't be higher on the list because he's missing stuff, right? So people say he's the same as Vic. He's not. Vic is playmaker for zero. Vic gets different ability discounts it's not even close and he's right-handed big is left-handed so who is number eight number eight is going to be two up slinger one so that's nice he is left-handed keep that in mind he's shifty he's fast i love all that about him uh man this guy can zigzag he's a rental he goes for about 410k you can quick some from 350 so you know he's not going to just drop uh but what is he missing? He's missing the big four abilities, guys. He doesn't get the abilities, okay? So that's gonna be a problem with this card. Is he usable? Yes. Are they better? Yes. Let's get to who's next. Really like this Drew Brees card. If you don't mind not being athletic, Slinger One is nice. He has good abilities. He has a good release. Um, and he is accurate. This guy is so consistent. I really do like him. He gets the big four. So if you guys want a quarterback that's just consistent uh, for this price right here, and yeah, he's going to be good enough to be on anybody's team, and you can win with him. You really can. Go give your Brees a chance if you're looking for a pocket quarterback. This guy could be number one depending how you play, right? Playmaker for zero it can really open up an offense. Uh, if you run a lot of options, stuff like that, look at his price. He's under 400 k That's nice. And Slinger 1 is great. He gets a fair amount of teams. So, uh, Michael Vick is going to be good enough to use until the end of the game. Uh, you can 99 speed on him easily. This guy here is accurate from the pocket. Accuracy is great. So, being a left handed, keep that in mind. However, go try Vick. He's really good. Ken Stabler is next. Crazy release. Slinger 3 is so nice. Best deep ball release in the game, all 32 teams. So, you have no reason not to have him on your theme team. This guy here has great discounts, great release. He's gonna be good till the end of the game. He's that good. Go get him if 
If you haven't used your tokens yet, you might as well just cash them in. If not, you can just quick sell them. Uh, most people are running this quarterback. According to statistics on this website, he's the number one quarterback used in the game. This guy here is super good, and there's no reason to even change from him. He, you can just keep him. But if you don't like left-handed and you want a right-handed stable, it's going to be Justin Herbert. Herbert has the same abilities, same release, just right-handed. He's a little more athletic. I do want to point that out. So keep that in mind. His juking is way better than Stabler. There might be a time you're in the open field and you need that juke for a first down and he does give that to you. So, uh, Justin Herbert is still really good. Up next is Air McNair. Now, Slinger 3 is nice. He's gonna be more athletic than Herbert and he's gonna get really good discounts, have the same release. He's just gonna be more shifty. You can run with him better. I really like this card. He's in game, he's great, go get him. Uh, 500k is a steal. You can definitely win games with him and he's gonna get the job done. Two is Joe Montana. You guessed it. So, Big Joe gets Slinger 1 and he's not athletic. The guy he's, I'm gonna compare him to is 99 speed. He would have 86 speed of boost. So, of course, he can boost it higher. But you get what I'm saying. This guy here is not athletic and he gets crazy discounts. So, how is he higher than the other cards? It's because he gets an extra ability slot. You can put conductor, stuff like that on him. So this guy here, uh, giving you more options to use on him, it's gonna be a better quarterback because you can actually just make him do more things with more abilities. I would definitely go ahead and try out Joe. If you haven't, he's in game. He's really, really good. Number one is Tim Tebow, guys, and it's not even that close because of the I mean, okay, let's start with the program he's in, Mutt Mission, right? Okay, so the boost he gets from his players and the boost he gives his players, he's definitely going to be number one. So, 99 speed, he gets crazy discounts. He gets that extra ability slot like Joe does. So, therefore, he's going to give you more things to pick from. You can't get conductor stuff like that on him. As you see here, his discounts are crazy. You can really get this guy moving with tanks, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so being way faster than Joe, that does matter. And so he is number one. Tim Tebow, that's going to do it for me, guys. Be kind for no reason. I'll see you in the next video, which is top 10 running backs. I'll see you then. Special shout out to Justin Ashley for joining the channel. You are the GOAT. Thank you so much. Hey guys, if you want to be in every single video, Join the channel. As long as you're joined, you're gonna be in every video forever. I wanna make a wall of fame. I wanna have everybody's name. Thank you for the support, guys. Hitting the like button and subscribing, all that really does help to keep the 21 videos a week coming. Three videos every single day. So if you guys enjoy it, let me know. And thank you, Justin, for supporting the channel. Behind Final Reasons always been the message since day one I started this channel. It's always gonna be the message. And Justin, you have a good day.